Today we're talking about rural America. Well, what I like is that neither of us mm -hmm. are experts on rural America. No, no, no. I'm black too, so there's that. So you, you got to decide how black. <laughs> how rural are we talking, bro? Cause Dude. hold on, you wore the shirt on the cool in the pool. Oh yeah, dude. I was I was, a, I was a big old boy, and I grew up near the beach. So who's the hold on? So whose decision was this? Is this you or the the, the, the parents? Who decides to put the shirt on the child? <laughs> Well, older brother, he gets the brood of the parent. Yeah. He gets to get all the bull. She's working her kinks out with him. By the time she gets to you. <laughs> I don't think that's the right word. <laughs> I'm not yeah. the guy that's getting in there, getting his hands dirty. I got I, the hands of an artist, I was told. I was like, you just kind of call me gay, bro. Yeah. Just, yeah. Where'd you find a farmer? On Google? No, so I read uh, some book about factory farming that scared me, yeah, as it should. Sure. There's, dude, it's funny. There's a website. I think it's called, I swear to God, I think it's called findmilk.com. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Don't go there. Was, <laughs> it was a festival in Maryland where they used to, they would catapult pumpkins and just throw, like, they would shoot pumpkins. And it ended because... There were three deaths. <laughs> I love that they didn't end it after the first one. I know. I, in their defense, bro, there's a wasn't there a, a group called Smashing Pumpkins? Yes. Smashing. That's a. a there's some of a, a pumpkin <laughs> smash. In their defense, wasn't there a band called Smashing Pumpkins? <laughs> like, dude, I'm saying there's something that feels good about smashing a pumpkin, bro. Like, let's not cap. Like, it's not. I love the the idea that you're like. <laughs> Your Honor, there is a band. One year for Christmas, I asked for Beatles t-shirts, and I got a Beatles t-shirt with like every album they did. And I remember dead serious being like, this is gonna get girls. They were just like, we get it, dude. You like the Beatles. Oh, they were like, yeah, that's the dude that likes the Beatles. Yeah, like it's we don't want to yeah. <laughs> Favorite t-shirt eighth grade? Yeah. I had a big, it was a, a black t-shirt with the silhouette of Kevin Garnett's face. <laughs> and then it had earrings. In the shirt. It had just two. Oh, yeah. See, what you gonna do with that? You gonna make them wanna f Kevin Garnett. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great feature of rural America where it's like, there's not a lot going on. There isn't the city. You can't just walk around. We're gonna find you today. That's the thing about rural America. We're just gonna throw pumpkins. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Joshua Black. Connor Larson. And uh, today we're talking about rural America. It's even hard to say for me, bro. Rural. Rural. Rural America. I, I thought about, on the way here, I was thinking about Ja Rule. And honestly, <laughs> Ja Rule and how I say rural is the same. Yeah. It's low-key the same. Ja Rule. It is true. Are you in rural America? Well, what I like is that neither of us mm -hmm. are experts on rural America. No, no, no. I uh, it, it, I, I don't know. if Have you ever milked a cow? No. Well, no. Damn, I think, you know, they take you on little hay rides in school. Do y'all yeah. do hay rides? No, man. My school, we went to, where did we go? Oh, we went to St. Augustine, and they showed us prisons. <laughs> Which, looking back, <laughs> do you ever think about, like, what a, I, they show kids prisons all the time on field trips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what are they showing well, they, them? They're trying to scare you straight. And they say, hey, you know, if you get one more demerit, we're going to send you in here with, uh, yeah. with Julio. But it's a little intense to be like, hey, you're yeah. 12 years old. Yeah. Look where a man suffered for years. Uh, that's why I used to think about, uh, and I, it's like hard. I don't have kids yet, but it, I thought if, when they was teaching us like the civil rights shit and we're uh, yeah. in second grade, and I'm yeah. like, they're like fire hoses getting sprayed. I'm yeah. like, uh, I just want juice and crackers, fam. Hey, man, imagine how I felt. I was like, <laughs> this is a rough, <laughs> this is a rough lesson. Dude. But yeah, bro, I, don't, I ain't really had, uh, the, my experience in rural America has been, uh, I'll, it's strange because I'm, I'm black too, so there's that. So you, you got to just say, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how rural are we, how rural are we talking, bro? Because, you yeah. know, sometimes you, you got those gas stations that black folk, we just don't go to. Yeah. Just because it's like, you know, the gas, he says, I'll come out and pump it for you. Yeah. And it's just like, he's got to pour it in from a cup into your car. There's no pumps. There's, there's definitely, it is weird because there are gas stations that break along like cultural lines. Yeah. You're like that. I don't think I. That's not I've one been, for me. I've been to a gas station with a Confederate flag on it because I had to pee that bad. Yeah, and it was probably something else. It couldn't have been pee. I've been just... to a gas station uh, where they had a book signing, and it was an author, and he was a trucker. And when I say no one was there, <laughs> I mean it was just a man sitting at a desk being like, "I should have known better." Yeah, well, you know what happened? He probably was the man at that gas station. Oh yeah, like, that yeah, was yeah. the gas station he'd been pulling up to for years. Yeah, and he probably told them so many stories. They said, "Bro, you got to write a book." Part of rural America is being the man in a very limited number of people. Well, that's the best part about being a small town, bro. Like, if you make it there, you the man there. Yeah, and also it's like you know when you're a high school senior. Yeah, yeah. So I, you're you grew up in Nashville. I grew up in a small town. When you're yep. a high school senior, yep, you are legitimately the coolest Ooh. young man for because everyone else, Seriously. every cool nineteen year old leaves. Yeah, and they're old now. 
So there's a year where you're like, damn, I am crushing I'm it. I'm the man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about me. Yeah, the, and then the you go anywhere. The teachers are a little more lax on you. Yeah, well, no. But well, we had mine. a shirt tucking rule that started when I was a senior. They said we shirt, and, and, and this is the era where we were in 4X jerseys. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm tucking in a fucking Reggie Miller 5X jersey. Yeah. And then after a while, after senior year, they were kind of like, you know what, fam? Untuck that bitch. They're like, listen, it's, you're about to be out in the world. Go yeah, do what you I want. Yeah, I still got expelled. Yeah, but, we uh, had shirt tucking in uh, middle school, and here's the here's what was rough. Okay. I was a fat middle schooler, mm. and I was tucking in. You could either tuck in your yeah. shirt, or you could wear a hoodie. And I I grew up in Florida, what and kind it of was rules of those. I don't know, dude. They didn't they tuck didn't it think in. Of, what are they trying to hide you from? Uh, tuck it in a hoodie. I have, I truly looking back, I have no idea. But I was wearing a hoodie in you know April in Florida, <laughs> just. Getting heat stroke, being like, girls don't know. Oh, because you didn't want to tuck the shirt and then yes. show the belly. Yes. Yeah, because now you got that muffin. Yes. Damn. But I was like, girls won't be able to figure this. It's like the well, shirt on in a pool thing where you're like, yeah, yeah. at the time, you're like, no one will figure out why I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah, the guy, People yeah. aren't going to know. No, they all know you're afraid of your man breast being out. Yeah. But, dude, I remember as a kid being like, this shirt in the pool thing, nobody knows why I'm doing oh, it. Oh, you wore the shirt on in the, cool, in the pool kid? Oh, yeah. Dude. I, was, I, was a, I was a big old boy. And I grew up near the beach. So who's the, hold on. So whose decision was this? Is this you or the, 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 the parents? Who decides to put the shirt on the child? <laughs> well, well, Josh, it depends on the age, you know? As kids <laughs> grow. Because <laughs> I'm thinking, were well, you thinking like one day I'm going to put this shit on and your mom was like, or your dad was like, hey, man, put this goddamn no, shirt man, on. No, I man, I never, my parents uh, never told me to not wear anything and mm. they should have. <laughs> it was bad parenting to be like do whatever you want because i remember yeah, yeah. they just let me buy whatever mm -hmm. like not buy it they would be like you can wear whatever you want yep so one year for christmas i asked for beatles t-shirts and i got a beatles t-shirt with like every album they did it's like what 10 albums how old were you <laughs> seventh grade and i remember dead serious being like <laughs> this is gonna get girls oh, this is gonna get them we got it for the ladies it did not get to like they were just like we get it dude you like the beatles Oh, they're like, yeah, that's the dude that likes the Beatles. Yeah, like it's 2008, man. Yeah, <laughs> it's 2008. We don't. I mean, cool. It's nice that we like them too. Where's the T Pain at, motherfucker? Yeah. I also had. A, you oh, know what I had? Yeah. My favorite T-shirt, eighth grade. Yeah. I had a big. It was a a black T-shirt with the silhouette of Kevin Garnett's face. <laughs> and here's the here's the thing. And it, his face is like a different shade of black, and like yeah. it's like textured. For sure. And then it had earrings. In the shirt. It had just two. Oh, yeah. See, what you're going to do with that, you're going to make them want to fuck Kevin Garnett. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? You take, you can't put a, a handsome man on your shirt. It's, no. That's distracting. That's always my problem, though. You got to put an ugly, you got to put a piece of shit. You got to put, like, Flavor Flav respectfully. Yeah. On, they never like, Although, is Kevin Garnett handsome? He's kind of, I mean, he's intense looking. He's an NBA player, bro. He's a seven foot super athlete. So, yes, he's handsome. Yeah. And but he's I'm, not, he, he's not, he's like a, you know, a slim dude. Yeah. He's but, money. You know, dudes, it don't take much to he, for us to be handsome. That's my theory yeah. on athletes. And yeah. like, like people are like, that guy in the NBA is handsome. You're like, he's an elite athlete who's in shape. And as a dude, yeah. I mean, you know, you might not have the best face in the world, but if you're, if you're doing that, you're doing pretty good. Jay Z once said the beautiful line of, uh, there's no such thing as an ugly billionaire. I'm cute. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, I think with dudes, bro, once you get something going for you, you're sexy. Yeah. Because they be like, look at that ugly fuck. They're like, hey, you know he owns the Bridgestone. Yeah. They're like him? It's I almost fuck like the shit out of him. It's I I don't think they become sexy. I think the the people pursuing them are just like, listen, that's not. I I don't give a shit about that. I am going for something else here. No, but you don't realize it because like okay. Because with us, if you say a girl, you say, oh, she's horrible looking. And they say, hey, <laughs> but they say, hey, you know, she owns. <laughs> I, just, I just walk in and go, ooh. <laughs> and then ooh. they say, hey, she owns half of Tennessee. We were like, I don't give a shit. Yeah. She's horrible. Yeah. But with the dude, like, he's a slop. Yeah. And then you say, well, no, nah, that guy, you know, he got 10 Bentleys. He yeah. owns Donald Trump's daughter. And they say, I got to, this. now you're interesting now. That's what I mean with, with the athlete thing, where it's like, if you're a man, if you're just relatively if you're relatively in shape and you're crushing it like in the other parts of the yeah, world, like yeah. you're in, in the NBA or something, sure, you look great. Yeah. With girls, it's like there's they. I mean, there's a lot more factors going in, and some of them you're like, man, I, yeah. you can do whatever you want, but you can't change that part, so I can't do anything. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's different, bro. Yeah, I, I told. I remember my my aunt one time was talking about how much she loved Adele and how amazing Adele was. Yeah. And my uncle was like, I don't even, I didn't even know he was listening. And 20 minutes in, he went. Ah, she's still a big girl. And that's all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's like, Adele's changed music. Adele's done yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Changed uncle, the game. He's like, nah, I can't do it, bro. She's big. popped up to go. Well, nah. she lost weight now, so he's probably, he's probably in on her now. Oh, yeah, she did now, yeah, right? Yeah, lost weight, got a black man. Gotta did she? That. Yeah, yeah. Adele is a black man? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Who knew? Chris Rock. 
Believe it or not, yeah, he just, yeah, I was saying what that be. But no, nah, bro, I've never milked a cow. No. I've never uh, skinned a, uh, I'm not really, you know, I'm not, I'm not that guy. I'm, I'm not the, I'm trying to get there. I'm yeah. not the guy that's getting in there, getting his hands dirty. I got I, the hands of an artist, I was told. I was like, you just kind of call me gay, bro. Yeah, just yeah a little bit. That is what they're trying yeah, to say. Yeah, you, you have the hands of a man that doesn't yeah. work. What they mean by that depends entirely on who's saying that. You That's know true. what I mean? If yeah, it's your yeah. art teacher, they're like, please move out of this town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, if yeah. it's a farmer, they're they're calling you gay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. trying to think the only like I mean, I, I like me and my girl, we we try to shop, we get eggs and dairy yeah. from farms. See, we're trying now, to move over there. Now we're talking. This is the yeah. farmer's market or you know the farmer. We go to a farm. Damn. Twenty minutes north of Nashville. No. Get, yeah. And then we go we we like belong to a CSA. You what know, you the get, fuck you is, get who is this man? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, he's like, I belong to the communist uh, party. Yeah. <laughs> well, dude, it's funny that the it it loop. It's like a horseshoe. It loops around like real, real conservative and real, real liberal. Whoa, people. no, no, ho, 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 ho. They ho, both want to get veggies. No, no. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> I'm trying to hold on <laughs> before you take over the world. Um, how, so you you where'd you find a farmer on Google? No, so I read uh some book about factory farming that scared me yeah, as it should sure. for seriously bro <laughs> yeah and yeah. then uh i was like there's a, dude it's funny there's a website i think it's called i swear to god i think it's called findmilk.com <laughs> oh yeah right don't go there was, <laughs> you got to spell it right and i i go to find milk and there's like a raw milk farm and that's the other thing too when you buy milk from a farm because yeah. they don't pasteurize the place i go they have to print on it for animal consumption only but no, Shit. no one has died from unpasteurized milk. There's like four deaths in like 500 years. I mean, I hate to say this, but what it was pasteurized? That now that's a thing neither of us know. But <laughs> I'm gonna say it sounds like yeah. I would prefer it pasteurized. I think it's a pro. I think they heat it do, up. Or, or do they keep eat bacteria. in the pasture? You know, because in the Bible it says something about I always got to take it to the word. But <laughs> he laid me beside the still waters. Yeah. And something about a pasture. I forgot the fucking... Go uh, pasteurize those cows. <laughs> yeah, Take them like, out to heat. Okay, so hold on, bro. So now you done found a... Hold on, you read the book. Yeah, I read the, the book. Did the book give you the resources to find a farmer? The book just made me realize, like, the only way you get outside of, like, scary AIDS. factory... F- and yeah, like yeah. cancer. Foodborne AIDS is you... <laughs> yeah. You go... You gotta, like, just start trying... Like, Googling it. I mean, that's a crazy sure. thing. You can do yeah, yeah. anything. So I found a farm. We started going there for dairy. Then we found out they had Hold eggs. on, what race is the guy? White guy? I never met it. So the way they do it, you sign up, God. you pay, you go. They have eggs and cream and stuff. And you're shopping? It's like the honor system. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So the horseshoe you were talking about, you getting out and you're shopping? The horseshoe, I was I was making some metaphor. There's no actual <laughs> okay. horseshoe. Okay. But hold on. <laughs> I was like, no, nah, man, not like that. So how much was the horseshoe you bought? Yeah, what's going on with these horseshoes? No, so, okay, hold on. So you pull up, and there's no one there? No one there. It's just pasteurized milk laying out. So they have a fridge. Okay. And they have a price list and a Venmo. Damn. It's It's crazy, because it's, like, the most rural thing, and then also, like, kind of uh, the, the yeah, future. I, res- I respect that, though. Yeah. I respect and it's, that. And I always pay. I feel like how much? How much milk you get? A gallon? You get it in these big old jars. So we'll get like a jar of milk and you then taste a, the a jar of cream. Oh yeah, dude! No. It's it's like if you don't shake raw milk, it, the top is like there's a layer of it's cream, but it's oh. you got to shake it or you'll pour out like slop into your. Oh. I mean, it's not bad, but it's it's hold on, solid. Hold on. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Are these the same people you get the eggs from? Yeah, and the eggs are different. And dude. the eggs are in the fridge too. The eggs are in the fridge. Are they too. brown and shit? Orange? Yeah, they're br- Sometimes they're. We got them once and they were blue, and we didn't ask any questions. <laughs> But it was like a night. It was a blue where you're like that occurs in nature. It yeah, wasn't yeah, like yeah, yeah. it wasn't TSU blue. Shirt right, right, right. That was, right. Gonna, that was gonna be an albino chicken. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that was gonna be some kind of fucking freak. <laughs> yeah, dude, we go there. I mean, it's it's like a little more effort, but it's not that much. And I no, I but I need that in my system, bro. I need to because you know the eggs at Kroger. You know they not. You know them eggs ain't shit. No, those are you can feel those chicken. Those chickens have jobs they hate. They're just no, like no, those I chickens hate. were born into fucking. Murder. I mean, like, yeah, they ringing you out for them eggs. Oh, it? dude. So yeah, I'd rather hold on, hold on. So you, the in the fridge is these eggs as well. The fridge, of the eggs, and it's just the honor system. You go, you Venmo, you take the stuff, and then you go back in a week. They also do stuff like they'll they'll send an email being like, "We're about to kill a pig," which is a weird email to get. <laughs> no, and that's the title. Yeah, well, that's, they write something else, but that's how I read it. And then they'll be like, "Do you want any?" Yeah, yeah. And you like oh, you buy like, like a quarter. Yeah. No. And you can say what you want, and the pork is crazy. 
The difference between like pork at a store oh my and pork God. at I'm a trying farm. To get, I'm trying to go back vegan, ironically. But I'll get you some at the next time I go. No, no, no. I'm going slick tomorrow. Yeah, and then we'll talk about it the yeah, next time. Yeah, next episode we'll talk about that. We'll, we'll just slowly eat on the next episode. This will be a food pod. <laughs> rural Josh Black is Damn, the, is bro, because that's what I'm saying, bro, because I don't want the, uh, the, the fucking the, the food industry and the bullshit FDA. I don't want this. Bu- I want no. my own food, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Eventually, I want to, you know, once I'm in an apartment in the city, so I can't fucking a garden, but I want to eventually grow my own shit, grow my yeah. own everything, you know? I think everybody's getting the, getting that feeling of like, hey, hey, man, I get that this was convenient and cool, but I don't in die. like the 70s, and now we're like, this is weird food, yeah, man. exactly. No, I don't want to hell no, dude. Yeah, fucking, that might be the coolest thing about rural America is they got like... The food, the real the, shit. The it's like food. they're the closest people to uh, what we what we were supposed to be doing. Yeah, you know what I mean. Now I do love the convenience of a of a city. Now, let's not get it fucked up. Just go outside and walk and do anything you literally want to do. Yeah, and there's people everywhere. But it's weird because technology is almost making it so you're better off being in a rural place. You know, yeah, like people sure. like with with remote work, they're leaving sure. cities to go live in the country, and you're like, sure. so technology is making you leave cities. It's like it's good. It's like isolation is good and and I don't say bad. It's like I see. I love both. The older I get, the more I need to get out in some land, get a horse, yeah, get some animals, and just just roam and chill. But I, I've been in the city my whole life, just zipping and zanging and. Zinging. So you like have been within like oh. the, you know the little circle highway of Nashville. You grew up there. Thirty three years, bro. That's crazy. I know. Now, mind you, I've you went to college in East Tennessee for a while. Played around in Atlanta, Georgia. I've been playing around. I lived in Maine for a summer home. Dude, we have known each other for like three years. I did not know one of those things. I did, I did not know <laughs> any of that, No, bro. Been here for a while. But it, and I love that city life. Like, I could just get up one day and just walk downtown. Yeah. And just be there in like, you know, 30 minutes. See, I grew up in like the suburbs, like the like super yeah, suburbs. Like, birdies. if someone was walking around, you'd be like, what what's yeah. going on? Oh, okay. Uh, well, but is, was a lot of kids in the area? Were y'all like skateboarding and shit? No, that's what I mean. I mean, if you saw a kid on a skateboard, you'd be like, "Who is that?" Oh damn. What's well, not like not yeah, the like, best part of suburbs? Stop him. Just like yeah. who is that? No, Nobody the best part anything. of suburbs was like the Tony Hawk Pro Skater game era. Yeah, it was a good. Call. Like that was just like the music, the fucking. I'm that was an what era. You that call was that? Travis Barker and them. What were they? Blink One Eighty Two. Yeah, dude. That like, type uh, of shit. That's the deepest I can get in white music, kind of. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like the hits for real. My girlfriend's gonna get mad for getting this wrong, but I, th- I think that's like. I think that's emo music. I mean, it all seems to be like I, I fuck with that with that th- like the boy band era yeah. that was not like trying to be like gay. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. the hard boy. Band. It was like we we are boy bands, but we're not like trying to be pretty, but we're yeah. still skinny. We're not gonna like lick our lips, yeah. but we still want the girls. But we're not gonna fucking take our shirt off. And, yeah. You know, boy bands have got kind of like, and this is from a guy who knows nothing about boy bands, but it seems yeah. like they've gotten like slicker. They're yeah, not I thought wearing, they're like, out. Who's they yeah. boy bands? What? Isn't oh, but like, the kids, the, yeah. little, the Zephyrons and all those. <laughs> Zach, Zach, what's the little white family? I, here's, kids? I think, I th- aren't the big boy bands now like Korean boy bands? That don't count. <laughs> that don't count, bro. Tell my dad, dude. My dad's in his seventies. <laughs> He's listening to K-pop. He loves Korean culture. Really, dude. If I, I'll be like, hey man, you're seventy. Let's take a photo together. Like we're getting dinner or something. He's like, say kimchi. He do- no, he does the he does the he does the K heart or whatever the you know what I'm talking about. No, I have no idea what they, that is. I don't really. That's know like either. the peace sign over there. No, it's like a heart, but they like hold it next to their face. Oh, he's in there deep. If you ran it on like a he's image search, deep. it would just be Korean people and my dad. Now K-pop is going crazy. K-pop is lit. I ain't but have lie. you interacted with it at all? No, no. Well, it's for also for kids and it's pop at the end of the day. I'm not really a yeah. pop guy. You know what I mean? Like every now and then, someone will catch me. But I'm not really uh, into like the pop, like you know, so Korean pop. I'm definitely, <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? It's like yeah, you're doubling the distance for me to get into this. <laughs> yeah, it's like, come on, dude. It is funny too, where if you're like, I'm not into K-pop, people are like, well, because it's Korean. You're like, no, because it's pop music. I don't. The yeah. same reason I'm not into like the Jonas Brothers. I like uh 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 fucking Squid Games. I'll tell you that, dude. I didn't see it, and I wish I had. It seems what? like a very funny show. You hold on, Squid- yeah. <laughs> I missed everything, dude. I've seen <clears throat> I've seen just weird. Documentary. So to, to this no. day, you haven't seen Squid Games? No. Oh, I envy that. But I've watched. Uh, somebody showed me where like Mr. Beast recreated Squid Games. Oh my, that don't count. You can't even appreciate it. It was, but it's also that's an that was the most insane. You can't appreciate that, bro. You no. have to watch the Squid Games first so you can see how hard Mr. Beast actually went. You can't appreciate it, bro. Yeah, but I miss all that stuff, man. Damn, son. I didn't see Squid Games. Squid Games, incredible. Um. And then uh 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 what's the we got to get back to rule but it's another uh foreign show heist money heist no I never seen it on Netflix it. no well shit me 
Um, I haven't seen much, dude. I'm yeah. out of. I've seen stuff like I've seen weird art movies, but I don't see a lot of like. You know what I realized about, especially a lot of a lot of my mom was so Christian growing up. It was just she's like we're watching Veggie Tales and Touched by an Angel. Really? Seriously? Like hardcore. So she wasn't into music like that. And if it was music, it was Kirk Franklin or some kind of religious music. Damn. So I say that to say. I had to grow up later and then see a lot of the classics, but then I see them in such a casual manner, like Departed, for instance. Yeah. I don't see that saying, this is a movie that's coming out with two dudes that, and it's a classic. You have to, it's not a, co- I'm on Netflix, like, oh, yeah. Matt Damon. It is weird. And if you're like, like, whatever age you are, anything b- before that, yeah. you see it like, yeah. while you're like scratching your balls and clicking around. Yeah. And when it came out, people were like, this is yeah. the movie. Like, there's a like uh, yeah. Scorsese's got some new movie coming out in October. Yeah. I'm pumped to see it. Yeah, for sure. But if some kid in 20 years is like, he's gonna be like, what is this movie about? Mm-hmm. What well, it, it does ruin mm-hmm. the event. I know. There's these nostalgia TikToks that go around. And got me. It goes crazy. Yeah. We're just like weird commercials you forget about. I'm like, oh, oh yeah. my god. Because I was thinking, you look at the 70s and 80s, and then you start thinking, man, the 90s was mid. It sucked. But actually, that shit was lit as fuck. Yeah. And, and then now nostalgia is. Like nine eleven. That's nostalgia. dude. Nostalgia though is creepy because I th- I think the reason it's it's what it's become is it's such a good marketing tool. Oh, because they're like, do you remember when you used to be the demographic we cared about? Now it's back. Do you remember being <laughs> yeah. the age where we gave a shit about mm-hmm. you thinking it's cool? That's I think that's what yeah. people don't like about getting old is no, there's people don't care and we romanticize cool. the past and and like because I remember being a kid I remember thinking this shit sucks <laughs> <laughs> like I can't fucking I gotta ask permission I can't go places. Like, I don't have any money. Yeah, this no shit. pussy. I, yeah, that. Like, you know, I was like, man, this <laughs> shit sucks. But then when you think back on it now, you're like, what a beautiful time. But I think that yeah. we have a tendency to just romance the past. Well, was, that's every every yeah. old person will just tell you, like, you don't know till it's gone. It's like, that is how, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. how, like, having a good partner works. You're yeah, like, oh, I didn't sure. realize they were great till I, yeah. yeah. Till I got AIDS and couldn't you, uh, you <laughs> have sex with them anymore. Like, man, I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you truly are, like, Incapable of appreciating things at the time, even if you consciously try to do it. No, nah, dude. Um, I mean, not me, but everybody else's. No, nah, but I, um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I found, I don't believe I milked a cow, but I, uh, <laughs> I love that we're stuck. You're like, this is the, this is the rural <laughs> checkpoint. Let's go through. All right, let's do some other. Let's see some rural stuff. Did you ever go? <laughs> that is hilarious. We just keep like that's the the uh, like the flagpole. We got to yeah. get back every time we have a guest. We're like, what's your relationship with milk and cows? And they're like, I. What is this? Uh, did you ever go to bonfire party like keg parties? Yeah, but they were in like the burbs. I yeah. did a bonfire. I did. I tell you what, I did. I. Uh, here, I'm, here's my experience. I did Boy Scout camp. Were you ever was a Boy Scout? No. It was a. Uh, I was reading the paper. I was <laughs> for the coffee. <laughs> I was like, so, go out that there. I went like so. They were there one week, and I wasn't really into it, man. I'm like, man, Boy Scouts, fuck out of here. <laughs> I mean, like, there ain't no girls there, dude. The fuck, just fucking dick and tools. Yeah. So my mom like makes me go. She's like, you need to be a man and learn shit. I'm like, all right, fuck it. So it's like I go on a Wednesday, and they they but they camp started Monday. It's yeah. Monday through Sunday. I go in Wednesday. Everybody already got their bunks. Well, yeah. You, well, not bunks. You're in a tent outside. I'm and I'm like sleeping on the ground because there's no. Yeah. I'm like, hey man, you got to scoot over. There's raccoons. I can hear the raccoons <laughs> scrambling through literally our shit. You showed up late to Boy Scouts and they were like, tents are full, man. And you. Well, well, no, they were like, you can sleep in there with them, and they already got their beds, and they're like, well, I'm gonna sleep like, on the floor. And I'm like, yeah, that sounds good. They're like, all right, I don't care. I'm get along withable. Yeah. And then you see like a raccoon looking you dead in the eye. And y'all had a whole class about how they'll kill you with rabies and yeah. AIDS and shit. I'm like, hey, you got to get the scoot over, bro. I'm going to sleep with you. It. And he was like, hell no. It's a seven-foot dude. <laughs> just, and we just we fought. That was my first fight. <laughs> yeah, dude, no wonder you only went once to Boy Scouts. That sounds awful. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, they, we had this thing where we had to swim in a lake, like, real fucking far, and then come back. It was cool, man. We had a ch- I learned how to play chess there. Was, how much, when you were swimming, how much was there, like, anybody checking to make sure you guys weren't? Well, it was worse because, like, you have to swim there and back, there and back. Yeah. Which now seems so absurd. Cause you think, yeah. But you see a guy do it before you, and then there's 10 people behind you. So you don't think, oh, f- you just do it. Yeah. If I drown, I drown. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm not you the be, warrior spirit. I'm not going to be a bitch. Dude, I feel like that's a thing that has gone away. Speaking of nostalgia, yeah. it's just being like, I'm an adult. These are some children who aren't mine. They're just part of, like, Boy Scouts or YMCA or whatever. Yeah. We're not even gonna check if they swim. We're just doing a swimming challenge. Yeah, that oh, used. Yeah. I remember ten, like fifteen different times. 
doing something as a kid, and then there'd be a kid who'd go, I'm not a strong swimmer. And they'd be like, well, we already blew the whistle. So <laughs> yeah. you're about yeah, to have a day. There. No, for sure. I remember getting to the deep end once at the sportsplex during the summer. And that's like where you had this huge pool where like Olympic swimmers would go and like practice. So they had this really high dive. Yeah. And I was like, man, I'm going to do a flip off of it. And the council was like, can you swim? I was like, nah. <laughs> he was like, okay. I just went up there and did it anyway. <laughs> I yeah. flipped and then I just kind of floated to the side. Dude, before social media, I don't think you could report. Like, if, no. you, if you could just be like, listen, I know I shouldn't have let that kid do the high dive, but I did. Yeah. He now did. people would find out you let him do it. Yeah. But back then you could just be like, I didn't know he couldn't dive. No, for sure. And everybody's like sitting around waiting to have that video they recorded that was viral. Oh, yeah. So, like, that kid's up there, you think he's going to die, everybody's pulling out their phones. Yeah. Because they're like, this kid's going to die. It used to be weird to have a camera at a pool. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I remember trying to set it up, and people would be like, what are you doing here? <laughs> this is a private pool of the house. Dude, think about all the new places that it's okay to have a camera didn't used to be. Yeah. Like the yeah. other day I went in a, uh, I stopped on the highway and I went to go pee and a guy was on FaceTime with his girlfriend while he's peeing, which first of all, <laughs> they're, they're in love. That's real. And second, I was like, dude, I'm yeah. about to, you're filming me while I piss. <laughs> like this, 10 years ago, this would have been a story. Yeah, no, that's crazy. Just did it's it. just a Tuesday morning. Yeah. Yeah. All right. P pull up Too that much. list I sent you with the rural shit in it. The rural shit. Yeah. It's just, a, it's just a drawing of a cow being milked. <laughs> what do you want me to... <laughs> oh, shit. This is actually I, a good list. I can't... Okay, what, what we got on? Number one, we got, got the, most, the most ridiculous small town festivals in America. And I got a good one. That was so, talk to me. My girlfriend's from Maryland, yeah. and she thinks it's... it's the, Maryland is just the South. I don't know if she knows mm. that, but it is. And yeah. I was talking to her, and she was like, I was like, what are the festivals you remember? The Apple Scrapple Festival. <laughs> What's Apple Scrapple? Apple... It's just app like it's a food festival. And Scrapple's like this weird sausage brick. It's like a real. It's not a popular food. Yeah, it's a yeah. regional food. Yeah, yeah. For a reason. Like that's what the poor people was eating. Back oh, in the yeah. Day. It's a block. It's like spam, but sausage. I think. Yeah. I saw oh. her eating it, and I was like, I still she love you, it? but oh yeah, in front of me. Oh. I was like, I. I mean, you're lucky that we're very in love. Oh yeah, yeah. That is gnarly. Sure. Scrapple. Uh, here's the winner, though. Yeah. She told me <laughs> there's a festival in her hometown called. Pumpkin Chunkus. Okay. And it is a festival. Yeah. Pumpkin Chunkin. That's what it's called. It was a festival in Maryland where they used to, they would catapult pumpkins and just throw, like they would shoot pumpkins. And it ended because <laughs> there were three deaths. <laughs> <laughs> I, People, love, I love that they didn't end it after the first one. I know. I, I think, let me make sure I'm getting that. Maybe maybe there was one death and three injuries, but you're, whatever you, yeah. you definitely something bad happened and they went keep it going. They were like yeah, but he's dying. Put it in the catapult and then shoot it up in their defense, bro. There's a wasn't there a, a group called Smashing Pumpkins? Yes, Smashing. That's a that, it, there's some sort of a pumpkin <laughs> smash in their defense. Wasn't there a band <laughs> called Smashing Pumpkins? Like, dude, I'm saying there's something that feels good about smashing a fucking pumpkin, bro. Like, let's not cap. Like, it's not. I love the the idea that you're like, <laughs> Your Honor, there is a band called. I know it seems like a bad idea, and people did get hurt. <laughs> you really think about it. Why but there is a band. Their, why would they name their band that, bro? If it wasn't fun as fuck. People know what the fuck it is. You just don't want to clean that up. But you like everybody wants to smash one. So hey, yo, dude. I, it's also it's a great feature of rural America where it's like there's not yeah. a lot going on. There isn't the city. You can't just walk around. We're gonna find shit to That's do. That's the thing about rural America. We're just gonna throw pumpkins. Yes, there's nothing to do. You gotta find shit. That's where the innovation comes from. And people bro. love to be like, "That's a crazy festival." It's like, listen, if if you got off your phone yeah. and a man came up to you and was like, "I'm about to shoot a pumpkin yeah. in a manner that's dangerous," clearly, I'm coming. Of course, yeah, in my pants. There's, <laughs> not, I, I won't be there, but <laughs> just you saying that. You're like, give me a minute to clean up, and I'll be there. <laughs> it is. It, there is a lot of stuff that I feel like we're like, that's boring. You're like, no, nah, I'd like to see that for yeah. sure. And I hate to say this, they're still doing this because when I was a firefighter, they, they would go often. A lot of firefighters would go on the weekends to. I'm gonna call it small person wrestling, <laughs> but that's not what it's called on the flyer. You know what I mean? Yeah. But that still goes on. Yeah. And I'm not gonna lie, bro. I might be in on that. Oh, yeah. I might Dude, be in on that. Anything, any wrestling, honestly. Any wrestling, and also just anything where you go, I've never seen that. Yeah, yeah, like that's, yeah, yeah. I, The small town, like, festivals, that's kind of what they're doing. They're yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even the East Nashville one. I've never been to the Tomato Fest. Oh, yeah. I'm intrigued because I'm like, yeah. how could you make a whole day out of tomatoes? In August. Yeah, that's the whole reason that's, why I don't go. Yeah, it's brutal. But I'm always on shrooms, and I'm always there. You go every year? On shrooms. Damn, dude. And it's packed. What like are they the, doing? It's like a, well, there's a 5K, and for those of y'all watching, you're not from Nashville. There's like a there's a there's an art festival in Nashville called the East Nashville Tomato Arts Fest, 
And th- there's a 5K attack. You do a 5K. Yeah. And then they pretty much just block off the street. You have Bloody Marys, which I hate. You a Bloody, Bloody Marys Mary are man? nasty. Absolutely not. I don't like tomato soup, really. No. It just you, makes me feel like I'm sick. Also, like, I I'm, I like booze as clean as I can get it. Like, I like, you know, oh. whiskey with ice. When yeah, you yeah. start giving, like, like, dude, people drink, like, milkshake cocktails, I'm like, nah, it I seems feel good, bad. But alcohol and milk is crazy. And alcohol and anything, I just, I'm like, dude, I already feel bad drinking, like, physically. You know, bro, I hate to admit, I don't ha- I, I'm getting to the age, well, hell, I've been that age. I need a, a drink, because Jack and Coke, I hate it. Yeah. I hate it. I, I hate a, a, a old fashioned. I hate you that. hate an old fashioned. See, that's it's too sweet. It's sweetie McSweet sweet. Yeah, sweets. yeah. The dude, fuck just, am I a diabetic? Just do the whiskey with ice thing. It sucks for like but two see, weeks. But see, now, now, now it's serious. Now I'm dead ass lit. Now you see what I'm saying? And I can sip it. But I, I need like a booze. drink. That, like I need like a Tennessee ass drink. You gotta invent one, dude. Ooh, the Josh yeah, Black. The Josh Black. But I don't know what's gonna be in the Josh I, Black. I need. I, I definitely need whiskey. I can whiskey neat you all day. Yeah. But I, I would like a cocktail that tastes good. But I, that's what I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm to the age now. Where I'm gonna have to Google cocktails and you start trying them out at bars. But here's bro. the problem. All the good cocktails, yeah. all of them, yeah. they're good because they got sugar in them. That's how That's they, I go, why do I no, like No, 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 no. I just don't want it to taste sweet. You can have, you can put diabetes in there. I don't want to taste sweet. Just give me a, you know what, I I go I go spice on you all day. Spice is great. But like a spicy margarita, which Ooh. tastes spicy, there's a lot of sugar in that sour mix. I don't give a shit. I do because I want to be able to have like four and not feel like I'm going to have do. four. <laughs> I'm not, I don't give a fuck about yeah. it. Josh and is I, like, I'm more fun than you. <laughs> <laughs> that's know. what we're getting no, no, caught no, up on. No, 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 it's horrible, and I get that, but that's not my problem. Ain't even the ca- I haven't give, gotten to the point where I need good calories. I need something that tastes decent. Yeah, that feels grown. That also, when I order in front of people, they say, "Damn, what's that, fam?" Or they say, "Damn, he drinks those." I need something like I need like that's something. That's the funniest reaction to somebody <laughs> ordering a drink. What? What is but, that? But bro, there's out there, out there. Yeah, a motherfucker will order something. Mostly, it's like it's a motherfucker in a bow tie, and they all like they have like a drink, <laughs> and they're like, "What the fuck did he just?" And the bartender always knows it. Yeah, and they're like, "Oh yeah, he's ordering a, sm- a Sicilian mus- grasshopper." <laughs> oh, a gruff gruff McGrew. Give me a minute. I gotta go get the plantains. <laughs> like, exactly. What are you getting, dude? And he's like, "God damn!" So I want I want a drink that makes me feel like I'm cultured. You yeah. say that motherfucker, he's grown. But here's the problem: you get right. if you get too accustomed to one type of booze, yep. and then you got to go do like the you got to go do comedy on the road or something. Yeah, yeah. They never have it. Oh, but see, no, but see that, that when I'm at work, I don't care. This is for like when I'm out and they, we're at a nice dinner. We got a jacket on, and they yeah. say, "Well, you want a cocktail?" I can't. Let me get a Jack and Coke. Yeah, like, yeah, what the yeah. Fuck kind of shit is this? I need to say, let me get a a sm- smoothie. Yeah, it's my smoothie. Yeah, I mean, it's something with a with a prinkle or something. And then they'll say, "Damn, this motherfucker be outside." Like he does, you know. I mean, he does some shit, bro. Cause he ordered a, a what you call, and a, I always go to old fashioned when I have to. Yeah, that's, because it's, that's the it's one. a classy man. But I'm I'm yeah. sipping it. I'm hating it. The cinnamon. If it's yeah. not fall, oh, there's no need for cinnamon. Cinnamon's just a bad spice. I uh, rural cocktail. Do that. Get a, a get a, a white rural lightning. Co- that's moonshine. Yeah, yeah, white lightning. It's just straight moonshine. A lot of people doing this this flavor moonshine shit now. I was in Kentucky this weekend in yeah. Lexington, and yeah. we did a we did a bourbon tasting with the yeah. guys these guys at Jake's Tavern. Nice. Because I was with my buddy Rocky Del Davis, and they like love him, so they gave us all this free bourbon, nice. and they're letting us try. They're like, "This is a rye. This is a bourbon." I have a terrible palate. I couldn't tell that much of a difference between everything. Yeah, yeah. But you could find like a thing. You Ooh, you could be a rye drinker. Shit. A good rye. Yeah. I like that. Put that I like rye. the way it sounds. I don't yeah, even I know what that. it is. Let me get some of that rye from you, fam. Yeah. Let me you got to find a thing. A we'll, get a, a, we'll get a show cocktail. A show a show tail. Yeah. Oh, that's what we'll do, man. We, so I got, That's my homework, bro. I got to find me a grown man-ass cocktail. But not one of those that's too crazy. I don't want the bartender to be like, fuck. Yeah. One of these dudes. What's the one? The one that always tips me off to like an alcoholic mom is Long Island iced tea. Ah, uh, yeah. That's that's pretty. That's pretty. That's you know? like six My girl's on drinks, these right? uh, mules now. Mules are good. Ginger beer. Ooh, yeah. so I think that's my thing. But I feel like that's not original because that didn't come from me. And she's yeah. like five two. We can't order the same shit. I'm like, what am I, a bitch? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, give me, give me the grown man on ice. What am I gonna get with this person I love? God, hell no, nah, bro. What the fuck? All right, so we got festivals. Talk what about me. what about this? This is on your list. All right. The funniest country sayings and expressions. And this one, this is a hot one. Country songs, country sayings and expressions. Oh, I love, uh, I love the fixins. That's one of my favorite fixins. The fixins. You like yeah, a hot dog? I need the fixings on that. Yeah, and you know sure. what that means? That needs the the relish, the uh, the ketchup, the mustard, the the burnt onions, the 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 fixings. Everything you got, throw that shit on there. What about this? Did you ever hear this growing up? 
don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. Yeah, hilarious idea. Hold on, but we—I don't even know what that means. It Can you means, use that in a sentence? Yeah, it's like uh, if you find out your girl likes cinnamon, you're like, I'm gonna break up with her, and they're like, don't throw, like, don't freak out. Oh. Don't ruin all the good stuff just for this one little thing. Don't throw the baby out for the bath. Also, with, the with bath the, water with the bath water. So the bath water is some bullshit. So it's a, here's the crazy. Here's the origin of it. it right. People used to take one bath like as a family. Yeah. And like it was like uh, hierarchical. Like the dad goes first, the mom, oh. and then the kids in like descending age. Gross. So by the time you're bathing the baby, you're just putting him in like mud. Oh. And the the idea is like when you would go to dump out the bath water. The water would be so dirty you wouldn't see the baby and you'd throw them. God. Which to me is the funniest idea that you'd be like, you would just be like, all right, time to clean up the bath. And you wouldn't find where your baby is. The thing that you were cleaning in it? It's yeah. your baby, dude. <laughs> all right, glad that's done. So they're saying don't throw the baby out with the bath. I like that. Um, I think it was a guy who didn't want to raise his kid. Yeah. And he said it. To try to like gas. Yeah, like it was an accident. Like he told I you, threw the baby out with the bathwater. Everybody does that, right? No, no motherfucker. He, he, he did that thing. You know when you want your girl to do something, you're like, don't forget to not do. You just bring it up. So yeah. he's like, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. I mean, unless you want to. Yeah. You, you are can, pretty busy. But I don't know if anybody would know about it. You are you are busy. No one would know though. <laughs> <laughs> I also like over yonder. That's a great one. I try to yeah. throw that in when I can. I definitely try to throw yonder in. Hey, could you grab that over yonder? Even if it's right, really close. Y'all and fixing to are actually like improvements in the language. Y'all yeah. is is better than you. It's a all. conjunction. Yeah, it's it's yeah. like an, people think it's like, oh, you're like country. It's like no, this is I'm I'm efficient here. Yeah, it's you all. You say you all. I don't have time for that. Y'all. Also, you all is like. You all, comma, in parentheses, I don't like this group. <laughs> yes, and uh, Steve Byrne, uh, he's a comic that just moved here to Nashville. He had a joke about, because he, he like looking at Nashville from the outside perspective. He's like, when y'all get mad, y'all say, all y'all. All y'all. And I love a good all y'all, too. Yeah. Because normally that's when you're getting fired. Yeah. And you got to say, man, man, fuck all y'all, bro. Yeah. It is. It is. I'm. I'm. I know. I already have you guys in a group. Let's yeah. really get this group. I want you to like. That means not one person in here. I like. Yeah. Like. You know what, man? It's scorched earth. You're like, fuck yeah, yeah. all y'all. I don't like. Uh, not, I don't know if there's a good way to say all y'all. Oh yeah. He's like, hey, who's coming to Pound Town? <laughs> all y'all. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> you get a pound town. You get a pound. But okay. Pound town. That's the hot song, right? No, yeah, that was some good. Uh, well, that's a crazy. That's a crazy song. My, my girl was playing that yesterday, and I was <laughs> yeah. like, I was like, hey, do we got to talk? What's going on? With this? <laughs> yeah, what's, what's, what's up yeah. with this song? That's that's hilarious. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I think that's one of my favorite sayings. Yonder fixings, y'all. I'm uh, trying to think of any like real good ones I like. Oh, uh, what about Caddy Wampus? You ever heard of that? I have not heard that. Caddy Wampus means something is a uh, crooked. You can make me also heard. Uh, Why wouldn't you just say crooked? No, nah, no, nah, Cassie, that's a little catty womp. Little catty. Or I've heard if you ever get into a fight with somebody, at the end of it, you're a little disheveled. You're a little shit. You're a little yeah. A little catty wampus. Oh, you know what's a good one for disheveled? Talk to me. Uh, rode hard and put away wet. I like that. Yeah, and that before Bro. everything was horny. Yeah, yeah. That was about horses, but now. Well, how's that? You like ride a horse, you know, and yeah, you get yeah. so it's like. You're not. I think you take him to the stable, yeah. and then you don't even you don't even get him dry. Yeah, yeah. And then the next day, he looks all fucked up. His hair is oh, all like. Oh yeah, just put away wet. Yeah. Damn. Rode hard and put away wet. Damn, that's real shit. But now it sounds like just like you were like a real bad hookup. You know what yeah. I mean? That's now it's kind of mutated. I want to go to Kentucky Derby, bro. You were talking about horses yeah. in the stable and shit, and I'm like, man, I got to get out there. I do you? Throw... What are you wearing? Oh, well, you got to throw the linen on. See, I, I would wear this. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. You can't come in there with me, bro. Hell no. Nah, I got to put that shit on. I'm throwing on some linen. I'm throwing on... I'm going to try not to go... Yeah, I'm going to just keep it simple because it's going to be hot as hell. We in Kentucky. Yeah. Well, let's just get into... This is my most controversial thing yeah. yet, but... Talk to me. I just, in general, women with hats, I'm out. What? Yeah, a hat to me is just like, you want something from this. No. This is never a... a if it's a hat because yeah. they're on a boat and it's sunny... You do your thing. Nah, nah. But when it's a you hat. Like your, you like your practical. Like a Pride and Prejudice hat yeah. or a Kentucky Derby hat. I like a girl with two braids to the back and a, and a trucker hat on. Or, or Sometimes it looks like, a, like it'll be like a stylish thing. But I'm talking about a hat that all day you have to go around being like, where's my fucking hat? Oh. Like a, like what about, what about a crazy you know, the girls hat. in Nashville now? They got the, the uh, not the cowboy hat, but just the, the influencer hat. You a fan of that? I don't know the influencer. What's the influencer you hat? You know, the, the tan, the girls. Like, uh, imagine it's fall and there's white girls drinking coffee and she has a. I can imagine on this. And, this, and a khaki hat. It's like a huge 
Oh or, yeah, like a witch hat, dude. When I was when I was yeah. single and I was on the dating apps, which yeah, yeah. boy was I? Uh, <laughs> I hats like yeah. big big hat. Yeah, Give me, yeah, yeah. I need attention for this hat hat. Yeah, yeah. I was like, mm, you out on that? I'm out. It's just it, to me, so far a thousand percent of the time, it has been like, not only are you gonna wear this hat, you're gonna tell me a long story about you. Ooh. I don't know if it's a one to one connection, but I think there's some connection. Yeah, possibly, bro. I like a hat. I ain't gonna lie to you. I like yeah. I like I like a I like a hat. I like a cowboy hat. Honestly. Well, you're much more comfortable expressing yourself through clothes. Oh, that's been all ever. Well, I'm a black comic. We a little different. Yeah. You black comics historically, the 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 leather, the pinstripe suits. We gonna turn up on that stage, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? We it's yeah. like we it's like uh the fashionist thing, and then a lot of y'all a lot of y'all can't get away with that. A lot, dude. Like four of us can. I mean, it's it's. Is a, there any comics that that dress crazy? Uh yeah, there's some there. I think there are some white comics who veer into like black fashion? comic fashion territory, sure. but very few. Uh, you know who does it well? Talk to me. Usually, uh, like I'm Italian. That's my whole thing. Uh-huh. Comics yeah. like uh, what's the dude? Maniscalco. Yeah, Mani- guy, yeah he yeah. dresses like a black comic a lot of times. Oh, I'm not, I didn't really notice that. Like just like a, on, what he got on? Custom leather jacket, Ooh. like leather pants, incredibly expensive shoes. Yeah, that's that Italian. He got he got yeah. he got something about that that fashion that fashion house shit in him. Yeah, yeah. Like Gucci. See, it's comedy. You go two ways. You either go look at me with this outfit, or you go yeah. please just let me do the jokes and don't make my outfit something. You know that's crazy. You say that. I know. I used to get like my nails done. And I was like, like get them colored and getting styles and getting turned up, but then when I got on stage, I realized people were just staring at them. Yeah. Or they were thinking you're not gonna address them. I'm like, no, this is. And I was like, oh, first of all, I felt like a girl with huge tits. Then I'm like, I'm up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. then also, I'm like, oh, it's a distraction, and I don't have time for that. Hell no. No. So I like something subtle. I like to where if you're paying attention, I'm like, oh, I like that. But I don't want to distract you because we gotta, like you said, we gotta focus on these jokes. Yeah. Well, it's also funny too because I I know. That I am jealous of being like I would love, I would love to wear a piece of clothing that I think's like out there yeah, and yeah. not spend the whole day being like, just <laughs> thinking about. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's because comics we just can't. You put on something, we just gonna tear you up every time. Every time, and and some people like you make it work. You you somehow are like this. Yeah, I don't care. You can yeah, you can yeah. trash my outfit. I'm still gonna wear it. Right, right, right. But if I was wearing, I'd be like, dude, my whole day is just thinking. <laughs> Am I wearing? Who do I think com- I am? Am I wearing combat boots right now? That would be my yeah, whole day. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I would love for that not to be the case, but I can't. I can't break it. That's why yeah. I dress like nondescript. But you can't lose with with t-shirt and jeans. I mean, no. I think two hundred years from now, people will still be in t-shirt and jeans. Yeah, I did have a comic tell me he goes, "You gotta, you gotta get a a hat so people remember you on stage." And I go, "They are supposed to remember the jokes." That. <laughs> That is what I'm like, going hey, man, for. Those jokes were hilarious, but yeah. I just, he don't have no fucking hat on. Do you remember that guy who was very, very funny? What type of hat's he wearing? <laughs> no, I don't remember him. <laughs> you gotta, I understand somebody saying you might have to have a look, but to have a hat is crazy. Yeah, it was also, it was on the heels of a good set. I understand if I yeah. bomb, he's like, maybe get a hat. I had just had a really good set, and he was like, you know what's going to really take your career to the next level? You're wasting all oh, this time with these jokes. You need to go to Leeds right now. <laughs> <laughs> get you a fucking uh, NFL Cowboys hat or something. I did one time. I bought a Dodgers hat because I think the Dodgers are just aesthetically pretty. Yeah, yeah. and uh, it had a straight brim, and I wore it for about three days. And then I was like, <laughs> "This is not worth the stress it's bringing me." It, it is. Oh yeah, you would have fit it would be crazy. Though. I just can't. I yeah. the only way. What about a trucker or a snapback? Dude, they're all fine if I could get out of my own head enough oh, to so not you spend can't the wear whole hats day. That, really? I have a few hats that I like, but it's mostly like. It's just if I wear clothing where other people are like, huh, I go, I don't want that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Now you can pull a hat off. I could do it. It's listen, I'm telling you, this is a me problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Society is perfectly nice to me when I wear a hat. They're not walking around being like, what Somebody's the like, fuck? Hey Connor, I'm sorry, I don't know why I wore it. <laughs> I don't know why I wore it. That, and I think that's way more common than people think. Oh. Especially yeah. in the rural south. Did it again. I pulled it back to Let's the, go, baby. We're talking about back. milk and cows. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is kind of weird. Rural guys like either go like one or two ways. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't want anything with my clothes or like oh. I got the big old belt buckle. You know what? I'm starting to lean toward the belt buckle. I just hate a, I hate the, the trauma from the school tucking in shirts. Yeah. I don't even want a piece of it tucked in to see the belt. Yeah, tucked. You know what? When I work out, I tuck my shirt in. Really? It's because yeah. it looks like you're going to work, though. It's also, I was on a, I, I did a thing, like I was in college, we did boxing and our coach made us tuck yeah. in our shirts when we, yeah. like, sparred and stuff. It feels like you're about to put some work in. It does. Because like when I, when I used to hoop, when you see the motherfucker with the, with the tucked in shirt. Yeah. He's like, oh, okay, this I gotta play for real. Yeah. This dude's about to he got his shirt tucked in. Uh, don't you have to, everybody tucks it in, in the in the NBA? I remember Chris Paul got a guy, he oh. made a guy get a foul. Yeah, but that's for that's cause 
it's in the way. Somebody, yeah. you know. But do you remember that Chris Paul was like a guy didn't have his shirt tucked in. He pointed, he went to the ref, and he's like, he doesn't have it tucked in, and they had to give him a technical. That's hilarious. And everybody was like, come on, dude. Uh, that's a that's a snitch move. Yeah, yeah. Chris Paul is like that. <laughs> yeah, Chris hilarious. Paul is like the most. Yeah, yeah. I know the rules. Yeah, yeah. He studied them, and he's like fucking with everybody all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. One of the funniest clips of him is uh when Steve Kerr was laughing. You seen it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he yeah. Was, like laughing, didn't like it at <laughs> all. He gets all mad. <laughs> he was pissed. Yeah, Chris Paul is cool. He's like, he's he's feisty, and also everybody uh. Everybody's gonna shit at him forever for not winning a title. And but you know what <laughs> people forget about? I saw on Twitter the other day is one time on a Kanye rant. People don't forget. People forget. He about went on this. a Kanye rant. No, no, no. Kanye went. Kanye went on a crazy rant one day. And a lot of times in his his rants, people catch strays. Yeah. And he was like, uh, and also by the way, I don't want to pull up the tweet. I don't want to ruin it. But he was like, also I caught Kim with this man, and it was a picture of Chris Paul. <laughs> <laughs> In a yearbook, it was like a yearbook picture of Chris Paul, and it was like other people in it, like a guy named Bob, like random white people in yeah. suits. But <laughs> you could just see Chris Paul in the corner, and he's smiling. And he's like, "Yeah, I caught Kim with him. I caught my wife with Chris Paul." Damn, I was like, "Golly, he don't need a ring, bro." Dude, that's it's a weird era we're getting into where you know everybody can be online. Like, <laughs> dude, dudes, NBA players, and any athlete, they'll hook yeah. up with somebody. And then the next person, the next day, the person will be like, I just hooked up with so and so. And you're like, yeah. dude, what a golden age the 90s was. Yeah. Where you could still fly, you could yeah. still do all this stuff to make dude. that easy, but wow. you weren't getting blasted. Imagine how much your great granddad was cheating. Oh my God. Because there's no way you know. Well, my great granddad was in like a farmer in Ireland, so he was getting no pussy. But oh, <laughs> Dave was in rural Ireland? Actually, that's not true. He was getting tons, but it was the same Catholic woman. And oh. they were like, we're doing it for God. They had like 17 oh, kids. Oh, no way. Yeah, I th I'm trying to think. My granddad's one of... 17? My granddad's one of 13. That means that yeah. there was a 17-year-old child. And this is, to say the least, a 17-year-old child. You have a 17-year-old while you're having a, yeah. a newborn. Yeah, dude, my granddad was like raising his... He's, he's one of 13, and the youngest one's like 20 years younger. And he's like raising it. They were doing it. It's funny, though. Damn. Like, You know, like you read about like the old... Like before, like in the a hundred years ago, people were having kids as like an economic plan. Yeah. They were like, "We got to work her right. around this the house." Will, yeah, she'll fix cars. That yeah. one will do the taxes. He'll be the lawyer. That's why, like every like, like yeah. third world countries, the birth rate's so much higher. Yeah, because they're like, we need people and, to do stuff, and I so I can force them to do this. Then I can force them to marry who I want them to. Yeah. So it's like this is a pretty good deal. Do you see Korea's like the first country to like the the birth rate is like it's under some number. Mm -hmm. Like there's basically there's like one kid for every like three. That's gonna be like millennials here in America, but it's gonna be crazy because like the population's just been going nothing but up. Yeah, if it starts going down, yeah. East Nashville housing goes down a little bit. Yeah, that would be yeah, nice. Yeah. No, nah, it, it, because it's certain races just gonna keep it popping. Yeah, like the the Mexicans, they're not gonna let this shit die down. Well, it's it, it seems to be whoever gets like if your economy yeah. shifts over to the shit where you're like a you yeah. know you're on a laptop making yeah. a graphic for Postmates, then it's not. <laughs> then it's like, I want people to have kids. I'm just not going to have them. I want to have about maybe one You don't want to have kids? Yeah, one or two. One, two. One, if you have one, you're going to have a weird kid. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I think, I'm I that think, one. Are you an only, child? only child? But I loved it, dude. I just worry that only children, like I, so much of like. But I was a social nut. I was everywhere. Yeah, but, you, but there's that's a weird because now you're such a shy guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Like if you get an introverted only child, then you do run, you know, it gets yeah. socially weird. And you also need somebody to like, I, I like it was just me and my mom. So I always needed a brother or a sister to say, isn't she bullshitting right now? Yeah. But they had no one to say, hey, man, let it go. She's tripping. Dude, parents with an only child, they can set up like, they can just set up a world and go, this is how it is. And then yeah. they, those kids get older and they go, that was, you yeah. made all that up. Yeah, for sure. When you have a brother, you're someone to be like, this is crazy, exactly. right? Oh, you're right. And, and, and also the older brother, he gets the brood of the parent. Yeah. He gets to get all the bullshit. And she's working her kinks out with him. By the time she gets to you. <laughs> I don't think that's the right word. <laughs> she's fucking him. So by the time it's time for you, she's tired. <laughs> He's like, all right, I got a school, a school thing. Let's get in here. Let's work. <laughs> oh shit! What do you think? Uh, the coolest thing that came out of rural America is. I guess we'll end on that. What, what Dude, I think. I think. Here's my thing. I think the the cool stuff starts in rural America and mm. then ends up like they take it to cities and refine it. But I'm trying to think mm. what didn't start in rural America that's cool. You know what I mean? Internet. Yeah, I guess that is cool. That is a cool um, thing. We got uh, what else? Uh, but you look at like all the big music. It starts in like like you know folk yeah. music becomes all, all sorts of other music. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Though. Everything. I think a lot of the cool stuff comes from just like 
and it's just a it's quiet and peace. Yeah. Some t- the, the con of the city sometimes is that it's so much going on, you can't focus on what the fuck you're doing. When it's just you and a cow yeah. for years. You can milk them. Yeah. <laughs> you milk the shit out of them. You can bro. milk this cow, dude. And I and I think I think that that capped it, bro. Yeah, I think uh, we did it. Yeah. So uh you can find me at Sir Joshua Black on TikTok, on Instagram, everywhere. Connor, where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at Connor Larson Comedy on all those things. Also, yeah, you got to, well, then we ain't going to, I don't know when we're going to post this, so I ain't going to do show announcements yet. But No, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll get it, it popping. Yeah. And we'll see you bastards next week. Thank you so much. Until next Thank time. You. Peace.